The fourth postulate of the kinetic molecular theory states that the average kinetic energy of a gas is equal to 3 halves RT, which we proved in our previous lecture. Notice how the kinetic energy of a gas is dependent only on the temperature. All ideal gases at the same temperature have the same kinetic energy. So then, how are ideal gases different? And the answer? Their mass. Let's go back to an equation we've studied in an earlier lecture and relate how the velocity of a gas is affected by its mass. We know that the kinetic energy of a particle is one half mv squared. Let's set these equations equal to each other and solve for the velocity. The first thing we'll note are that the halves cancel. Next, divide both sides by the mass and the mass will cancel on the left side. Note, I'll change the lowercase m for the mass into an uppercase m. This signifies that I'm referring to the molar mass of the gas in kilograms per mole. Finally, I'll take the square root of both sides and get the square root of the velocity squared. We conclude with the equation for what's called the root mean square velocity. Note that the symbol for velocity in thermodynamics is the Greek letter mu. And RMS stands for root mean square velocity. The big conclusions from this equation are that the velocity of a gas is proportional to the square root of the temperature of the gas. The higher the temperature of the gas, the higher its kinetic energy, and the higher its velocity. And the velocity is inversely proportional to the square root of the gas's molar mass. The heavier the mass of the gas, the slower its velocity. Now let's take a closer look at what exactly the root mean square velocity is. It's important to note that for a sample of gas particles, there's a distribution of velocities. Here is an example of a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of velocities, which plots the probability of a velocity versus the velocity. You can see that the peak is the highest probability velocity. But note, the distribution isn't symmetric. The average velocity is slightly to the right. And the root mean square velocity, mathematically, is even farther to the right of the average. The point being, is that mathematically there are different ways to express an average velocity, and the root mean square is one of them. In the end, there is a less than 10% difference in the average velocity and the root mean square velocity. The most important point is understanding the general trends from the equation. For example, let's rank the following gases all at STP in order of smallest to highest velocities. Note, all of the gases are at STP. They have the same temperature, thus have the same kinetic energy. But their velocities are inversely dependent on their mass. The heavier the mass, the slower the velocity. Let's find the molar masses. Here are the molar masses for the gases. Chlorine is the heaviest thus the slowest gas. Carbon dioxide has a lower molar mass than chlorine, thus slightly higher velocity. Next is oxygen, then neon. Finally, hydrogen gas, the lightest gas, has the highest velocity.